Well, hello there. It's Laurie Levine of the Levine Team serving the Greater Phoenix Real Estate Area. And here we are today looking at a house on Jefferson Street, which is in the subdivision of Coldwater Springs in South Avondale. So it's just south of the I-10. It's a nice golf course community um, that's uh, very popular both with locals and with uh, vacation homeowners. I've sold a number of houses in this area. Um, so it's just handy to everything being close to uh, the airport within 10-12 minutes. Same thing with going to the football stadium and the hockey arena. And of course it has a nice little golf course that's right within it. So we're just going to go in and take a look at this house. It's an original owner. There's Lance, the home inspector. So it's, uh, I've sold this model before. It's 1,566 square feet. And it's a three bedroom plus a den. So here we are in the living room. And this is the original owner of this house and it's just immaculate in condition. So it's a nice spacious living room. There's room for you know, a chair at either end and a couch. Sectional would work nicely in here. A variety of seating options that you could do. And then that looks through to the kitchen that's just uh, at the back of the floor plan. Right off the front door is the den. So it's got beautiful furnishings inside here. The lady that owns the house is actually selling that with it. And that entertainment unit as well. So, boy, that's a really good buy. Because they're both beautiful pieces of furniture. So we'll just go take a look at the kitchen. Patio doors to the backyard. And you know, it's got built-in cupboards to pass through to. Uh, now, if anyone ever wanted to replace the flooring in this house and didn't want that wall separating the dining area from the living room, that wouldn't be that difficult to do, really. Everything's just in immaculate condition here. So there's where I came in, the front door, the den off to the side, and we're just going to go down the hallway and check out the bedrooms area. Okay, so that goes through the garage, laundry area, and we have a good sized bedroom. She's not using it as such, but a double closet. All bedrooms in the, in the houses here have double closets. So there's always good storage space in, in, these, in these homes. Okay, there's definitely room for a queen size bed with a nightstand on both sides in this room. Here we have the uh, main bath, just turn on the light. She's added uh, shower doors to the tub and shower. Okay, and then down the hall, here we are at the master bedroom. So this bedroom is very spacious, even without the, pad the uh, bay window at the back. You know, there's plenty of room in here for a king size bed with nightstands on both sides and still have room for a dresser along that wall and a really good sized closet. Okay, so it's all mostly double hung, and an area down at the end for single hung clothing, and then it's got the shelving for closets, or for sweaters and shirts and such. Okay, and right off in the corner here is the master bath. So we've got two sinks, Five foot shower and the water closet is right behind that door. Okay, so I'll just show you the view of the yard from, from here. It's just as immaculate outside as it is inside. And then we're going to head off that direction. So back on down the hallway where I came. Past the bathroom on the left and two bedrooms on the right. And that portal to the garage, so we'll just quickly open the door here and show you from the inside. And it's got the side door. Hot water tank is just four years old. It looks clean and new. And off we go to the backyard. So here we have an 8 by 14 foot covered patio. And then there's 11 feet from the patio off to that side wall, so someone could quite readily uh, you know, put a nice barbecue island off of there. I'd probably uh, add a pool first, because you know, there's 
plenty of room in this yard for a pool. We are quite wide lot. And then put the barbecue island in afterwards. Right in this location here. Lots of room for it. Okay, so there's another look at the covered patio. We'll just head over to the corner of the yard. Take a look at the side yard over there. And we actually have a similar amount of space on this side. Actually, it looks more like 12 feet, but I'll measure that up. And that would be great access to get in to build a pool, actually. So one could do the barbecue island over on the other side right away, because it's not often that we have both sides of the yard that have great access for getting the equipment in to put in a pool. So there's the real elevation of the house. And there you have it. Laurie Levine of the Levine team signing off from Coldwater Springs in Avondale. Bye for now.